Live from the David 3000 Network Studios, it's everyone's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's your host of Tic Tac Doe, Jason DeCamio. Hey, thank you, All right. Thank you. Uh, welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. Woo. How is everybody doing today? I hope uh, you all rested up for the week, and now we come back to another day where tonight is a good one. This is this could go down in history as uh, one of the very rare times that uh, a contestant has a chance at the car. That's right. Our our champions won four matches so far. He's going up against another opponent tonight for his, try to get his fifth win. But he's had some bad luck with the dragon, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, he's got to get to these to this contestant and uh, Brandon Scruggs. I'll give you the honors. Introduce our champ and his challenger, please. Certainly, Jason. Our returning champion here on Tic Tac Dale is a college student studying theater from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, whose cash and prizes total $38,479. Meet Scott Michael. And his challenger tonight. He's also a college student studying music, music engineering from Westfield, New Jersey. Please meet Gianni Pizzi. Okay, welcome to the to the show. And we'll start off with Gianni Pizzi here first, who's the challenger. Gianni, I'll tell you, you and I go back uh, to wipe those tears. And, of course, you are what I like to call the rendition of the VIP or the band of fish. And uh, the last time we spoke to you, you was on, uh, I think, Blockbusters or Joker. What Joker? What are the two? And you was just you was on Blockbusters, and you was talking about uh, the the New Year's Eve tour. And so now that we're in the new year, you came out of that tour alive. <laughs> That's right. Yep. And, and now I just got tickets to see them again in Dover, Delaware, in August. So. Oh okay. boy. Well, I hope after the fact that once you go to see them in, in Dover, that you go ahead and put your request in to be the president because oh, you are just... We'll make it happen, hopefully, this time I, around. I will, I will have them petition letters to, to get you to be the, the, the VIP or their agent or somebody because you're so dedicated to their music. And I think they should be more appreciative of that, if not already, if they are. <laughs> so right now... Let's see if you can hone in on your skills and good luck today as you try to defeat our four-time champion so far. This is Scott Michaels. Welcome back, Scott. Thank yes. you, Jason. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred seventy-nine dollars. Uh, yeah. You know. But a little bad luck in the bonus rounds have caused you not to be over a hundred thousand dollars. But that's okay. You can keep on as long as you win. You can keep on playing. So. Win today, and you will get the car. So that's the that's your first step towards uh, getting in there and trying to uh, eventually continue your reign as champion. So uh, we wish you guys the best of luck. You guys ready to play tic tac toe? Ready. All right, let's do it. Let's play tic tac toe. Yay! Okay, the nine categories in this game we're going to be playing with are history. Number, please. Sports and leisure, geography, art and literature, seesaw, entertainment, the secret category, and science and nature. Center box is worth a thousand dollars. The remaining boxes are worth five hundred dollars. And of course, you know, play to get tic tac toe goes on to the bonus round for a chance to try to beat the dragon for lots of lots of cash and lots of prizes. And in this case, Scott, if you win today, you get the car. All right. Good luck to both of you. Here we go, Scott. You're up. Uh, I will go to one of my favorite categories, sports and leisure. Okay, sports and leisure. Yep, all right. And here's your question. What color hats do lady members of a certain beady social organization wear to gatherings? One more time, I'm sorry. Okay, what color hats do lady members of a certain... Heady, I'm sorry, heady organi social organization wear to gatherings? Oh, um, I will guess blue. No, looking for ah. red. Sorry, I ah. can't get the box. Remains unclaimed. Let's shuffle. 
Okay, Johnny, your first pick. Go with Science and Nature. Science and Nature in the upper left. Here's your question. What was the name of the Earth's first artificial satellite? Sputnik? Mm, uh, Sputnik 1. Judge? We'll take it. You got the box. Nicely done, Johnny. And the next one we'll over is on the first. $500 in the pot. First go up there. Very good. All right. Let's shuffle the category. Okay, champ, you're up. It worked good for him. I'll try it. Science of nature. Science of nature in the middle right. What direction do growing bananas point? <laughs> um. Oh, God. Down? No, that's not right. Look for upwards. Ah, upwards is what it is upwards. Yeah. You, yeah. Yep, upwards it is. Box remains unclaimed again. $500 still in the pot, but shuffle. Okay, Gianni. Go with history. History in the middle right, uh, middle left. Here's your question. Which U.S. president said he didn't inhale when asked if he'd smoke marijuana? Say. JFK? Oh, no. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton mm -hmm. is very recent. Yeah. Box remains unclaimed on that one. We shuffle again. Okay, Scott. Hi, hey. Um, I guess let's try it again. Science and nature. Okay, science and nature in the lower right. What is dentophobia a common fear of? You said dentophobia? Dentophobia. I'm understanding how it's saying it, right? I believe that's the fear of teeth. Dentists or teeth? You got it. Nicely done. And you got your first X on the board. And five hundred dollars. Thousand dollars. Dentists and teeth. You got it. All right. One X, one O. Let's go ahead and shuffle again. Okay, Gianni. I'll go with. Number, please. Number, please. All right. In this category, I will ask a numerical card shark like question. The one of you who gets closest to the actual number without going over gets the box. Okay. So here we go. So we asked 100 people. If your friend asked you to care for their pet hamster while they were on vacation and your cat ate him, would you tell your friend the truth or buy a new hamster and keep quiet? Now, how many people said they would buy a new hamster? <laughs> and since, Johnny, you uh, picked the box first, we'll get your answer. If you hit right on the nose, you automatically get the box. 35. Okay, 35 is not correct. So, to get the box there, Scott, is it... Higher or lower than 35? And you asked how many would buy a new hamster? Correct. I will go lower than 35. The actual answer is 20, and you've got the box, Scott. Nicely done. Mm. On the board. And now oh, he goes 100. Very good. 2X is 1-0. And it's a shuffle time again. Okay, Scott. Well, I guess it's a call, and if it's coming up this much for me, science and nature for hopefully a car. Okay, you get it right. $2,000. 
your fifth win and the new car to bring you up to $40,479. And of course, that brand new car. Here's your question. Science, please. Uh, silence, please. <laughs> What's the world's oldest science? Is it astronomy, chemistry, or physics? I will say physics. No, that is incorrect. It is astronomy. Oh, ah! not that. Oh, so close. Unclaimed box. We shuffle again. Gianni, you're still alive. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with signs and H to block. <laughs> All right. Get it right. You have the block, and there'll be $2,000 in the pot. What is the common name for the Boeing 747? Airplane? Mm, judge? More specific. More specific, please. Aircraft carrier? No, that's wrong. We're looking for a jumbo jet. Jumbo ah! jet is what we're looking for. Sorry about that, Gianni. Close, but not close enough. All right. Big break for the champ, Scott. Let's shuffle. Okay. Entertainment. Same rules apply. Get it right. $2,000 in the brand new car. What 1999 movie was hyped Mischief Mayhem Soap? You said mischief, mayhem, soap. Yep. Uh, oh God. <sighs> Hot tub time machine. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're looking for Fight Club. Fight Club is what we're ah! looking for. So, uh, what kind of time machine was that? <laughs> mischief. Yeah. Hot tub time machine. <laughs> Hot tub time machine. Wow, okay. <laughs> no green box again. Let's shuffle. <laughs> All right, Gianni. We'll go history. All right, history of the block. Let's see if we can get this one here. What was Osama bin Laden's country of birth? India? No, oh, looking for Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Ah! Can't get it. All. <laughs> all right. Still 1,500 in the pot. Two X's and an O. Let's shuffle it. Oh, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> well, I will go with shh. It's a secret. All right. The secret category. And this time we turn to Brandon Scruggs for the question on the secret category. All right, as you know, Scott, get this question correct on the secret category. Not only will we double the pot to $3,000, but you'll have tic tac no, and, of course, you will win that brand-new car. Here comes your secret category question. Matzo balls are traditionally served in what? Matzo balls are traditionally served in what? Is it borscht, chicken soup, goulash, or chazuse? I believe, I'm hoping I'm right, it's chicken soup. You have tic-tac-toe. Guys. Oh. <laughs> ah, nicely done. And guess what? You got yourself uh, not only $3,000 to take you to $41,479, but you want a new car. And, Brandon, tell him about that new car. Certainly, Scott Michaels. You just won yourself a brand-new 2024 Buick Encore. All right. Comes with all-wheel drive, 160-horsepower engine, 9-speed automatic transmission, 19-inch custom wheels, panoramic moonroof, Avenir Technology Convenience Package, and four full doors. From Buick, this car is worth $33,195. Oh, yeah. Nice 
nicely done. Whoa. So, Scott, with that far and uh, the 3000 in cash, your grand total for five games so far, $74,674. Congratulations. Yes. And that makes up for any games that you didn't get against the Dragon there for winning. So that's getting you closer and closer to hopefully $100,000. And in just a minute, you're going to play the bonus round for a chance at some uh, great passion prizes. Well, Gianni, you know, they always say that uh, more is the pity. But in your case, you got an O up on the board. Did you have fun today? Oh, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you $300 for the O. And, uh, yeah. $300 for the O, and uh, we got another uh, great parting gift for you. We have a uh, Pac-Man arcade machine, fully restored and ready to play. It's on free play all the way, so you can play all the Pac-Man games you want and never get tired of it. Thanks to from Tic-Tac-Toe. Yes. All right, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, Scott Michaels is going against the Dragon right after this. Cakes for breakfast. Fresh cooked and deliciously light. Served with whipped butter and syrup. Mmm, mmm, Moorish. And only a dollar ninety-five. Some of our party contestants on Tic Tac Doe will receive Celia's Chocolate Cherries, Pure Chocolate Shell, Luscious Real Fruit Cherry, and 100% Liquid Center Celia's Chocolate Covered Cherries. From Poppycock, Poppycock Fluffy Popcorn, mixed with almonds, cashews, and pecans, smothered in a delightful buttery glaze, Poppycock the delicious gourmet popcorn treat. And one lucky member of our studio audience will receive Daisy's Turbo Spa. Helps turn your bath into a luxurious, stress-relieving retreat, fully powered, fully featured Turbo Spa, furnished by Daisy. Okay, back to you, Jason. All right, thank you very much, Brandon Scruggs. We're ready now for the bonus round, so come on over, Scott, let's play. Uh, beat the dragon. I've got my wonderful microphone here ready to go. So it's like one of those portable things here instead. So uh, 74674 Congratulations on that new car. But uh, you ready to try to see if you can get this little guy beat finally? Let's let's make it two wins for me with this rod. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, show you the board and what it looks like here. All right. You know that you got to get Tick Attack or $1,000 without seeing the little bugger. And, uh, Brandon, what do we have for him this time? Well, Scott, should you manage to beat the dragon this time, we have a full upgrade for your entire home, starting with your work office there. How about a new gaming computer? Ooh. From Asus, this 24-inch gaming computer comes with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte uh, solid state drive storage, and a fully accessorized for your gaming needs. Next for your backyard, how about a brand new set of lawn furniture? From Lloyd Flanders Reflections, it comes with a selection of four chairs, a round table, a Bertella pizza oven, and two pizza stones and peel with an infrared thermometer and burner furnished by Bartello. And to keep that New Year's resolution in check for your home, how about a brand new home gym? All right, from Inspire Fitness, this multi-station home gym comes with an IC2 indoor bicycle, ab bench, and weight set to keep your resolution firm in shape. This whole home grade package is worth $16,823. Oh, wow. Nicely. Uh, nice prize package there, Scott. Let's see if you can win it and get yourself uh, close to $90,000. All right. Let's cover up the numbers there and uh, let's. Okay, Scott. Good luck. Hopefully, you can get $2,000 and. And yourself finally uh, a win here, but it hasn't been done for a while, so. All right, well, I'll start off by climbing my buddy Jason Myers, his money tree. Which one? Number three, his number money three. tree. The money three with tree. Let's see what he's got behind number three, please. $100, all right. Okay. And it's the beginning, you know? 
nine hundred hours away, and uh, you know, I, you can take the money and stop right now, or you can go on. But Ooh, I, I'm, go I'm going. Pick okay, pick your next number, please. Go. <laughs> Let's go to the number that should have won me a car in real life. Number seven. Lucky number seven. Let's see what we have there. Tick. All right, there you go. You're halfway to the to the big money. Fine tack, and you got yourself your thousand dollars. Where to next? Jump up to number four. Okay, hey, right above. If attack is behind number four, you're 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 gonna finally get that uh, beautiful prize package. Show us what's behind number four, please. Oh, bastard. Mm. My goodness. Man, I'll tell you, he's got your number there. Boy, oh boy, I really thought you would have been a winner. You've only won this bonus round one time out of the entire time that you've been there and been with us. But the important thing is you've won a car, and you're coming yeah. back next week to defend your title to go for your sixth win, which is a rarity in our show, but it, it, it has happened before. And your total winnings, like I said, 74674 Can't go wrong with that. And we'll find him a new player next week on the show. And if you like, if you like to be a contestant on Tic Tac Toe, here's Brandon Spokes to tell you how to do it. If you'd like to be a contestant here on the David 3000 Network, there's two ways you can do it. First, you can drop us a line in the comment section down below saying you'd like to be a contestant and we'll reach out to you and get you further information. Or you can message Jason DeCanio or David St. Dennis directly on Facebook and they'll get you the information you need so you can be the next big winner right here on the David 3000 Network. Back to you in the studio. All right, there you have it, friends. Oh, and by the way, there was an attack right next door, Scott. Oh, so close. <laughs> I was I was tempted to go to number eight, too, because I thought they might have went tic-tac right next to each other. Yeah, well, you know, and I'll tell you, for if we was playing the $100,000 one of that where you would have got it on the first two picks, man, that would have been fantastic. You would have had it right there when you did, but the important thing is you're still a champion. Like I said, he can, he can continue... When he, if, as long as he wins, he can keep on playing. That's the important thing. So he's going for his sixth win next week. We'll see you then for now. For Brandon Scruggs and Jason Kenny and myself, we'll see you next week on Tic Tac Toe. Bye for now. This is Brandon Scrugg speaking for Tic Tac Doe, a David 3000 Network presentation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gary Thousand Network for more great content like this one.